He was a tax collector and good at his job, until one day he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other tax collectors. He had it all, wealth, status, success. With it all stripped from him, Julian Needson would meet a wise old witchman by the name of Winterborn, the last of his clan. From this elder reachman, he would learn the true way of Lork, who created a world of struggle for only the strong to survive. Using the skills of psychedelic drug use, daedra worship, and tax evasion, he hopes to make up for his previous decadence and earn a song of his own in the soul of history. With the will of the Hunt Father, he became Winter Sun, the Freedom Fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the game that I spent my childhood wasting so many hours in. Well, not childhood, teenage years, but you get the idea. We're going in to Julian Murtas, a.k.a. Julian Needson, a.k.a. The Winter Sun, who you just saw the opening credits of. And we are decked out, and I'm very excited for this, because we are decked out in exactly... Hang on, let me turn the HUD back on. Ah, uh, that mod configuration. Ah, uh, bleh, bleh. Let me turn the, the... Oh, the HUD the HUD is on. The HUD is on. Yes. Okay. We are decked out in exactly the way we want to play our character. Because this is exactly the two schools of magic I was most taken with when I played the base game on Xbox for about two years in an insane frenzy. But I actually do want to briefly take off uh, candlelight. I don't think we'll be needing that too much. Uh, but yeah, no, one thing you'll also notice. Uh, we started as a Breton, but you'll notice we don't have any Conjure Familiar. Instead, we have Bound Dagger and we have Frostbite because we were trained. We were trained by a Winter Born. And as a result, kaboom. Boom, shabam, shabing. Uh, shiv, shiv, stab, stab, tax evasion. Uh, that's what we do. And then also this. Uh, yeah, we have destructible Skyrim installed too, so that that's gonna be that's just that's gonna be fun. That's this is gonna be glorious. Oh right, and you might notice that we're not using any Magicka. Uh, when <laughs> you see, we've made a horrifying mess of our containment cell here. Um, but uh, you'll notice that we're not using any Magicka. And the reason we're not using any Magicka when we are uh, novice, no, we are not cheating in uh, in God Mode or anything. What we are doing is we are using the Apprentice Stone. So the Apprentice Stone, I believe it is uh, Natural Prodigy. Natural Prodigy. Where is that? Uh, regenerate Magicka. Dynamic Stamina. Though this is another mod we're using. Uh, dynamic Magicka and Stamina Growth, especially with Survival Mode. That's going to be a great help. Uh, Prodigy. Here we go. Uh, novice spells cost no magicka, and all other spells cost 15% less magic. So, what that means is that is going to be a great boon for us, especially in survival mode, but it is offset by Sorcerer's Apprentice. We have a 50% chance <laughs> of our spells malfunctioning and being half as strong, possibly harming us in battle, which is delightful. Uh, so, we are a cryomed, and this also, by the way, I should just say this, well, we, we should probably start, but uh, I should just say this. When it comes to Elder Scrolls games, man, just this setup right here. Bound, bound weapon, Ice Mage. This is exactly how I planed my first ever character. It was an orc named Scar, after Scar, son of Hulk from Marvel. And uh, hang on. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. You all saw the opening credits. You know where our, our story begins. Um, and I'm an outlaw in the wilds. No, no, no. I am a... What am I? I would say probably he's a mercenary. That's how he was trained by uh, Winterborn. We, it would be cheating to start as a Forsworn, because that's our end goal. Our end goal is to become a Forsworn. One of the mods we have installed is that we can actually become friendly with the Forsworn. That plus the small mod side quests of Skyrim will allow us to eventually get Forsworn followers and have a whole good Forsworn thing going on, going down with the Forsworn. That's great. But we are not right there, right? We can be a merchant, but we don't want to be a merchant. We're not a, a oh, merchant visiting Helgen. No, we're not visiting Helgen. I remember distinctly there being a thing where we can... An alchemist surprise me. No, we're not doing surprise me. We know that we start in the Reach. Where are we, we going to go from here? Arrived aboard a ship. I own property in one of the holds. This would be mega cheating, especially with survival mode. 
a member of a guild, patron of a local inn. This will allow us to start in Markarth, and the Forsworn Conspiracy would be good, but we want to, again, we want to earn getting there. I want to earn getting there. Uh, I got caught crossing the border illegally. I want to escape this cell. Outlaw in the Wilds, Vigilant of Stendar. Outlaw in the Wilds might actually be good. I know there are a few that start us in the Reach. We don't necessarily have to start in the Reach. I just want to start off somewhat hard, you know? I'm not too used to survival mode, but I don't care. I want a hard start. Uh, shipwrecked off the coast. Necromancer, Warlock's Thrall. I was attacked and left for dead. Uh, come on, man. Chasing a Vampire. Vision of the Return of Dragons. Merchant Trail. Okay. Well, I'm going to say we are an outlaw in the wilds. That's, as, that's true enough. That's true enough. Let's start with a criminal record. A life with crime is still a life. Be wary, thief. We'll see, we'll see how well that, that <laughs> saddles up with our... Because that's what we are. We are, to some degree, a very Darwinistic... Uh, criminal in the wilds. Let, let's get you uh, get a better look at our character. Remember, he used to be a uh, tax evading <laughs> tax evade. He used to be a tax collector. He used to be very cushy, but after his training, he is beefed up to all hell. Uh, he has dirty moss in his hair, dirt on his face, uh, and tribal uh, Breton uh, forsworn markings as well. Of course, because why wouldn't he? Uh, he has just been trained in this same way, and over time, if we ever feel like we need to change the look, we do have a vanity mirror, which is very cool. Um, it literally just opens up a small thing where we can change the look and feel of our character uh, if we feel like that is the uh, if we feel like that is necessary. You can see how that just opens up very selective parts of the character creation menu. So very fun there, um, and let's get started. Let's get started. So we have. Uh, in, in our story, we have just come uh, through into the Reach. Let's... <laughs> yes, we want survival mode. Okay, and then religion. Okay, so most denizens of Tamriel are religious. You may choose... Oh, it's like, okay. So when it comes to Winter Sun, right now, we don't have access to the three we really want. And the three we really want are going to be Lork, a.k.a. Lorcan, uh, Hercene, or Namira. Now, technically, you could say we could worship the three gods, and I'll put up a I'll put up the page I made for Winter Sun's pantheon. His pantheon is uh, we have Hercene, and I'm doing this from mirror mem bleh, memory. I don't have the graphic you're seeing on on screen right now, but we have Lork, which is basically our version of Krom for this universe is going to be Krom. Uh, because, you know, the Forsworn, the Reachmen, the Witchmen, they have various different tribes, so none right now. Um, but various different tribes, and those various different tribes all have... Let's let's see where we are on the map. Okay, is this... You know, this... This isn't too far away, actually. This is somewhat lines up with where we were on the map. Okay, fair enough. The, the map from the intro credits. Yeah, this works out just fine for me. Fine for me, Absolutely. And I assume we have bandit compadres here. We have our bandit friends. So, oh. Well, uh. Oh, are, are there people trying to kill us right now? All right, but, um. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, our bandit friends. Well, we, we, we joined a group of bandits to survive. Uh, and, uh, you know, just teamed up with them to uh, help us pass the time and defeat the, uh, the wilds of Skyrim. Let's raid these barrels for as much as we can uh, to get ourselves away from the situation of being uh, destroyed. Uh, find quilted clothes. That might be useful if we have to go into a city. Um, what type of weapon will we use? Well, we are a spellblade, and we already have what we want. We have the bound dagger, which is uh, more or less a part of our boom. So if anything gives us trouble... I have no idea how much damage this does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's great. And it, like I said before, Scar, Son of Hulk, was my first ever uh, Skyrim character before I knew anything really about Elder Scrolls. I had only ever played a joke playthrough of Oblivion uh, before that. Ooh, Lantern, yes. Um, can I can I just put on the Lantern? Can I can I do that? Can I put on the Lantern? Or Oh, I can. Does the Lantern run on oil? Does it warm me up? It does warm me up. Okay. Let me just Let me just put that down there. Okay, that works. Um, so I, I know kind of the basics, kind of the basics of survival mode and what we kind of want. Monsters of Northern Folklore. Let's see. I'll keep the books. I'm going to keep the books for later uh, when we start building sort of our barbarian library, which is... Oh, hungry! Okay, so I'm hungry because I've talked too much instead of actually playing the game. Okay, good. 
See, so this is good. So this is something people complained about in my Guild Wars 2 playthrough. Oh. What do you... This better be good. Is there anything I can help you with? Nah, I don't think so. Until next time. Okay. Orc champion. He's just, uh... Doing... Doing orc stuff. Ah, a boar. Oh ho. Oh wait, no, I'm hungry, right. Okay. So if I am hungry... Wait, if I'm a band... So am I just alone? Is this my only friend? Is Orc Champion the only guy I'm hanging out with? Okay, you know, this, this is a good time to talk about our testing gods. So the testing gods would be... Uh, <laughs> so I guess we were mutual respect broing out and training with each other. Okay, so that's what was happening. So I, I, to survive, I teamed up with an Orc Champion uh, who was so more or less uh, teaming up uh, to some degree, teaching me the blade, teaching me the way of war. A little bit here, not not necessarily being a mentor, but definitely being a sparring partner. Um, that that's definitely reasonable. That's definitely cool. Uh, where where is our where is our frostbite? There we go. Okay. Right. So we are hungry. Let's eat some food. Yes. This is the power. So we don't want food poisoning. I know food poisoning is a thing. Uh, seared. Uh, oh yes. You are well fed. Sweet. Okay. And uh, sadly, our starting location does not have. Uh, does it have any kind of, no, cast iron pot? Ooh, venison chop. Okay, so is that, uh, venison chop? Okay, 380 points of hunger, great. Uh, Brett, stew, absolutely, 100%. Um, let's see. Okay, stew, stew, stew. Yeah, that's the great Forsworn playthrough, looking for stew. There we go. Um, what, where should we go, and what, what are we doing? We are going to, and our personal mission is to head to Markarth and the Reach, uh, to get more information on the Forsworn uh, and to grow in that way. So, we are... Okay. Okay. So we can't we can't do anything with him. Alright. If that's all we have, if that's all we can do, we... <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare getting there, but I'm happy to be back in the backyard of my teenage years. Absolutely. Okay, so... Our main goal here as this sort of forsworn shaman in training to some degree. It's his... Oh, no. Hey, our people. Oh, no. Our people. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but, hey, as long as I'm here... It's not in character to run from battle, but our character won't survive if we don't run from battle. <laughs> and that's because I've beefed up the forsworn to be extra beefy. We have not yet earned their respect and we will get boned if we uh, <laughs> if we try to mess with them right now. Um, so, wait, where? Okay. There we go. Alright. Uh, also, character behaviors enhanced, which is easily one of my all-time favorite mods for Skyrim. It's a very old one. Oh, apparently it does not work all the time. Um, but, you know. Oh. Okay. Skeever. Yeah. Ah, come on, yeah, the mud crab, ah. Okay, good. You are drained. Okay, so I need to rest, and if I do not rest, I am going to be uh, quite, uh, what, what, what will I be? 103, which is, okay, oh, health is 95, yeah. And let me, uh, let me continuously save, so I do not end up in a bad way uh, later. Uh, hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, where shall we, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. What? What is that? Okay, Forsworn are still after me to some degree, so I should probably get out of here. Um, okay, that's not a good sign. The The chandelier is not a good sign. Um, I come in peace. Well, actually, I, I come in peace. So, <laughs> we, we, we created this heroic Sumerian style. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. All right, let's sneak around here. Oh no. Okay, maybe we don't, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we don't do that. We don't do that. Uh, what's in here? Ho ho, ha ha. Hmm, okay. There's a frostbite biter. Hey, hey. That was a close one. Oh, uh, what's what's going on with that spider? <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know, but this place is full of them. Everyone I've encountered has been enchanted or the like. 
Look, I'm getting out of here. Normally spiders make my skin crawl, but magic spiders? <laughs> uh, okay. You're tired. <laughs> you're tired, which reduces your total overall overall magicka. Uh Okay. Is there anything more revolting than spiders? Uh yes. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? No, I don't think so. Oh god. Uh, until next time. Okay. All right. Um, our our wonderfully trained character, who is somewhat afraid of both the Force Warren and uh, and combat. No, he is he is not. Um, but we will have to uh, to fight our way, and maybe I don't know. Maybe this quick dungeon of spiders will yield some results for us uh, in a in a positive way. Um, let's see. Just look at this. So this is just spider venom so far. Uh, whoa. Let's put you out. That is... Okay. That is definitely something to be concerned about. I have no idea what added this. I have no idea if this is basically... This is why you love Bethesda games. Because no matter how half-finished they release as, you're never sure if you've completed all the content. And, and doubly so if they are modded. Uh, which we are, and if you want me to do a separate mod list video, I will. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, I'm guessing I need to pull all of these. And... Hmm. So there are enemies here. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. I will go the other way now. <laughs> uh, but what would be useful, actually, if I could find... Um, so there's no place for us to sleep. Uh, I'm definitely looking for bandits who left a uh, nice uh, socket of sleep for us. Well, that's that's a great way to to do this, isn't it? Our first our first exciting episode, exploring a relatively empty dungeon, uh, <laughs> and running away from the same faction we are trying to befriend, which is poetic, uh, if if not pathetic. All right, now let us head out. Let us head into the world. The world of Skyrim. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Which way to... All right, right. People were throwing fireballs at us, which is why we went in there in the first place. Uh, okay. So if we can... We can sneak... Sneak along the land. Sneak. <laughs> sneak, sneak. Sneaky time. Sneaky time. Sneaky time. <laughs> uh, desperately so. All right. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we're trying to... Okay, that is not necessarily good. Okay, skeletons. Not my friends. Okay, skeletons. We can fight skeletons and win. Haha! <laughs> you have been bested, emissaries of Molag Ball, who is the, the testing god of pain. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so right, the testing gods, right. So the reason we're not doing... Vig oh, Vigilant of Stendar, man. You really should have worshipped Lork. That, that, man, this would not have happened if you were properly trained. Okay, Vigilant Armor, Vigilant Boots. Um, that looks pretty cool. Uh, Nordic Mace, uh, Potion of Cure Disease, absolutely helpful. Torch, absolutely helpful. Um, Jazzberry Grape Juice, that was that looks good. Common Clothes might be useful if we have to make it so we're not abandoned. We're not touching this cursed thing. Uh, the, the Amulet of Stendar, no thank you. Um, but the... Uh, what, ooh, they have gold, they have arrows. I'm not sure how useful arrows will be. We're primarily basically a battle mage, I would say, kind of. Um... But yes, okay, so we were able to take out some skeletons. That is good. Um, 
Uh, let's see, where are we facing? We are not facing the correct way. Where should we be going? Yes, we should be going that way. Uh, and we have a pathway up there, so that's good. All right, so we came across a Vigilant of Stendar. Also, I want to see if his armor is better than mine. And more importantly, would my character wear it? Uh, he's wearing furs right now, and he likes the idea of struggle. Um, would that make him opposed to wearing something like this? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think that would. I think that he would take it without doubt. I, I don't think they have any, um, hang on, 24, 13, okay, so that's, uh, what, what provides the most? 54, 54, so that's 54 warmth, that's pretty good. Uh, 24, uh, what does the first shoes, the first shoes provide 13, so that's definitely better. Uh, okay, this is definitely uh, our fella here, our, our our fellow. Yes, so far we are we are doing well. I already kind of like the situation we are in. I, I'm going to save again. Uh, this is this is very nice. Okay, we need to get to Markarth. The road to Markarth is hard fought. Don't you? Co what? Okay. You there? Please, you have to help me. What? I was attacked by a vampire. Do you have a potion or something that can cure this before I turn? Oh, actually, yes. I've got a cure disease potion right here. Uh, that, that, wait, would I help him? This, this goes against Periite. This goes against Periite. Helping him would go against Periite. This is a test that he needs to overcome. If he got this, like, po well, would that be, mmm... That's actually a very good... We're, we're already at our first ethical dilemma. So, the testing gods, Periite is plague. Um, Moleg Ball is pain. Okay, you know what? To be fair, I think we would give him the cure disease potion. I don't think undead would be something we qualify as a uh, normal plague. That would definitely be something unnatural we're trying to stop. Remember, Malakath, Moleg Ball, and Periite exist to give us things to fight and defeat. So, yeah, here's the cure disease potion. Oh, thank the gods. Here. Take this with my thanks. Oh, 100 gold added. Thank you very much, my friend. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Uh, what do you have for sale? Take a look. Yeah, if I have 100 gold and he is... <sighs> he has nothing I could... Oh, hello, baby! Okay, what, what are we looking at here? Goose breast. That's what we're talking about, baby. Uh, we're talking about some goose breast. We're talking about some goose breast. Um, and then, uh, we're looking at some venison, 18 points of hunger, so goose venison is definitely, definitely a good thing. Um, 18 points, 18 points, I guess we could go with 18 points. I'm not sure if venison is cooked or not. Uh, raw rabbit leg, I feel like, horker meat. Um, no, no, we won't buy anything else. Thank you, though. Hunter. Good day. Yes, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. So this is nice, you know, we killed some skeletons, encountered a nice hunter. You know, maybe survival mode isn't that terrible or horrifying. Um, this is fine. Let's let's look at our our current fatigue. So we still need to we still need to sleep. We need to sleep. We need to find a place to rest, which is mainly the thing. Uh, but if that hunter is there, then that perhaps means we have a camp over there, but our destination is over here. We do want to rest, but we don't have that option right now. And this is a dead woman with an arrow in her spine. And she's a captive. Okay. Ah, you piece of garbage. Ah. There we go. Boom. And again, I'm very lucky that we have that... You see, you see how good this limitation is coming in? Like, yeah, on one hand, our spells can malfunction. But on the other hand... Look, the, the magicka we would lose on our way is greatly, greatly depleted. So this is definitely helping us with a start here. Uh, let's see. This is so beautiful. The misty gray world. And this the misty gray sort of color palette definitely is a good... I don't know, what would you say? It's, it's a good example of Skyrim's core theme, or at least the core aesthetic it was going for upon release. Cold. You are cold, which reduces your total health. Uh, represented by the Dark Region Health Bar, cold can c also cause you to move more slowly, stand near a fire, or move near a warmer area to warm up a sun or snowflake near icon. Okay, okay, so what I know I need to do here 
is I need to get out my, I believe there was a lantern that was giving me more warmth. Or was it not a lantern? Was it, oh, that's a lot of, oh no, I only have one torch. Okay, torch, there we go. Do I have a torch? I'm gonna carry my torch until it runs out. Um, it is raining, which isn't uh, necessarily a good thing. Uh, wh where, uh, again, because I'm losing my place all the time. Okay. We still have a long way to go, and we do not have a clear path, but we can start by going over here. Uh, all right, so magicka and health so far are the things negatively affected. Uh, but we should also look for a place to reside, a place to go in. Uh, standing stone isn't exactly going to help us. Uh, shrine? Uh, that is a... Oh, is that a shrine to Namira? Is that a shrine to Namira? Okay, okay. If that's a shrine to Namira, then we want to go there. Do, 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 do. If that is a shrine to Namira, then we want to go there. Is, uh, but we cannot go there because that would be mountain climbing that we cannot do. Which we, we probably should have installed the climb mod, but now that we have a mod loadout, I'm not going to alter it at all. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we have what we have, and that's good enough for me. Uh, oh, harvest. I should... Oh. Oh, no, that's me. Okay, I thought I was hearing the breathing of a monster. That's me, because I'm tired. Okay. All right. It's raining. We want to not have it rain upon us. Okay. Best we can do, really, is just keep heading towards Markarth. Uh, this is this is really uh, what we want to do. I want to earn it. I want to earn it. I understand it's not as it's not as story driven. It's not as episodic to not just like start the Forsworn conspiracy. Uh, but I I have to I have to earn it. I I want to earn it <laughs> because uh, oh yeah. So the mod we have installed basically makes it so once we side with the founder of the Forsworn or side with the Forsworn faction. Uh, within the Forsworn Conspiracy quest, the Forsworn will be friendly to us. And that's pretty cool. Uh, so we will we will have that. It's a goat. Uh, let's see. So we're still... Okay, this is going to be a delicate uh, delicate climb down here. Delicate climb... Oh, is that, is that literally already Markarth? Are we already at Markarth? We're already basically... Well, we're somewhat close to Markarth. I don't know how close to Markarth. Um, <laughs> very good, very good. Let's Let's save. Let's save once more. Let's do that. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Have. Okay. I believe that that is. I have no idea what any of this is. Uh, I am going to try to go down here. There seems to be a Markarth-looking bridge over here, which I have no. Oh wait! No! 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 That's not what I think it is. That's no. That's just a bridge redesign. That's just a bridge redesign. <laughs> oh no. That was not going to be a good situation. That was going to be another group of people that we're trying to befriend right now. <laughs> ah. Okay. We have made it to Markarth. We have survived. We have survived. Oh yes. I I hope. Is this Markarth? No, wait. Is this uh is this one of the Tessarina cities? One of the uh, one of the mods I have installed is an arena restoration. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. This is just it's it's just the civil war. It's just people murdering each other. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do it. At this point, we would know nothing of the civil war in Skyrim. We would not be very worldly. Uh, we we come from High Rock. Yeah. All right. Red team. Red team. Yeah. You do it, red team. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's all he does. No, but he, he would know the Empire. Uh, he would know the Empire, so yes, no. Uh, as far as he knows, this is just a, this is a struggle. It's none of his business, but he will do some scavenging. This is, of course, another reason why... Uh, yes, gold. Uh, he does not... Dead men do not need gold. Dead men, dead men do not need uh, potions or potions of cure disease or jugs of milk. Uh, let's see here. 54 again, that 54 warmth, uh, which is good. Uh, let's see. So it's just a, genuinely a bunch of dead storm cloaks. So gold, torch, uh, cure poison, stamina, uh, not necessarily clothes. There's anything we could really sell here. Uh, not really, not really. Because actually this, 
<laughs> We're very lucky with this build because in reality he would behave exactly like a. Um, all right, so we have to finally we have to start dropping things. Value one hundred, uh, but it's also very heavy. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So iron short spear and all this stuff. We wouldn't use this, so let's uh, R. Let's drop that, and uh, we would use both of these. But yeah, no, we can do that. All right, uh, let's. Okay, but we still we still want some some gold and some torches. Mm -hmm. Gold and torches. If we can't, oh, actually, salt pile, absolutely one hundred percent. Yes. Uh, Stormcloak soldier, gold, apple pie, baby, jackpot. Um, just imagine him reacting this way. You left this over there. You're lucky. Someone else might have kept it for himself. Here oh, you go. Don't, don't hand it back to me. He's handing me back the avatar. So that's very nice of him, and I appreciate that. But if, oh my God, stop that. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? What do you mean? I... 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 T take me alive. Oh, right. We started with a criminal record. We're a bandit. It's off to the Sidna mine for you. All right. Well, this starts us with the Forsworn Conspiracy, at least. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Uh. Okay. Uh. When, when, when do I get out? You'll pay off your debt to the Reach. Just work, and you'll earn your freedom. All right. Open her up. Mine civil, silver ore. There. Okay. Can we pick up anything? No, we can't. All right. So this that was one way to start the the Forsworn conspiracy. All right. That's certainly <laughs> that's certainly one way to do it. Uh, let's see. I left behind my daughter Uale when I was taken. Uh, okay. Feel warmer and comfortable now. Yes, I would. I would say that I do. Um, do I have any of my food? I don't. So mine civil, silver ore to pay off my debts. Silver ore. Well, we're we're in. The thing is, we we can actually remove. <sighs> okay. But I don't have a pickaxe, so that's the other thing. So I need to go get one. To go get a pickaxe. So I, I'm guessing that there was a pickaxe over here. Somewhere near my cell, or somewhere around here. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to be. Where is the pickaxe? I need a pickaxe to be picking the... large sack, which is empty. Alright, we are in a bit... Oh, here's a pickaxe. And, uh... They're just, uh, silver ore. Silver ore to mine. Do you, do you want to serve your... Oh, this is how I serve my time in jail. Okay. That's interesting. So this isn't the, sw the Forsworn Conspiracy. If you just go to jail normally, you just go to jail normally. That's actually fairly interesting. Oh, my God. Okay. Buddy. Th this. I don't... Oh. There we go. There you go. Here's, here's your pickaxe back, guys. Here's your... Uh, here's your uh, your pickaxe back, you guys. Don't bother me. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go and get ourselves some sleep and some drink. As far as he knows, this is where the drink and sleep will be. So he goes to the front of the town. Uh, he doesn't know much about... And there's a murderer. Hey. You shouldn't kill people. <laughs> That's my job. Good lord. Oh, wait. For the Forsworn... Wait, I shouldn't have interfered. Or should I? I don't know. 
What I do know is that he's dead now, and I can take his stuff. <laughs> oh, God. Gods. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? Uh, I was right there. He almost killed me. Um, well, I wouldn't say he almost killed me, but I was right there. I'm so sorry. I hope the eight give you more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Uh, this note, what do you mean? What does it, well, yeah, what, would he be sly at all? Uh, do you know anything about the attack? And so, so I don't, uh, I think I would take this as a, a proper gesture of like, oh, meet me in the things. So like, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, that wasn't as much of a journey as I would really want it to be. Um, if I'm totally honest. So we should sleep first and then eat. Um, but if I'm totally honest, that was not a uh, a journey I was really... Like, I thought that that would be a lot longer, uh, generally speaking. Like, my original plan was to start at the border of the Reach and just, you know, go nuts, see if I would die or not. Uh, this was a much more peaceful jaunt than I was expecting. But anyway, uh, let's, let's rent a room. Let's rent a room. Good, sir. This is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Uh, someone named Goldbone, I bet. All right. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Great. And I already have food on us, so I can eat food after I uh, rest. So that'd be good. This is just me learning the mechanics, really, of let the game. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right. Sleep on stone bed. It's 9.41 uh, p.m. I think a good 12 hours of... Let's see, at 9 p.m., a good 12 hours of rest. Will do us very good. And put it us at 9 a.m. in game time. Then we'll go meet that uh, Eltry guy. Or read the Eltry note. And go meet the Eltry guy. I'm very... Like, this is easily... I, I can't contain how much I love the Forsworn Conspiracy, so... All right, uh, let's uh, let's go with our uh, effect. So we are still hungry, and since we are hungry, where is that? Uh, let's see, what uh, do 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 do? Aha, uh -huh. apple pie, and better but still peckish, uh, bread. Okay, get some of uh, the the lesser. Is that uh, that takes care of everything? Okay, hunger satisfied. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so. Uh, that will that will do it for me. Uh, now let's uh, sit down over here, get some ambience, and read a nice note given to us. Meet at the shrine of Talos. Well, I'm not sure why I would meet at the shrine of a false god that is out of touch with nature, but. I will do so. Let's, uh, let's... You want a drink? No. No, thank you. Um... <laughs> I should remind Kepa to come All right, goodbye. <laughs> um, all right, so, J, uh, and Forsworn Conspiracy, based. Okay, good. All right. Where are we you headed? About this house? What? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? strange lights or unusual noises. It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, do you know anything about this house? Seen uh, anyone enter or leave? I, why, 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 are, why are you asking? I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Legal rights and so forth. Um, sorry, I don't know anything. Thank you for your time. Hmm. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? All right. Thank so apparently that quest is just going to be there anyway. But right now, um, I'm more concerned with doing the. Uh, I am more concerned with doing the Forsworn conspiracy because this is the core of our character. This is who we are. This is basically still character creation right now. Okay. Why did you want to meet me here? I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems. 
but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. Um, You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. <laughs> you just said that. Uh, I'll do. What are you talking about? I'm I'm trusting you because of the Forsworn markings on your face. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a Forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. Uh, you want me to find out why? I don't have time. You, you want me to find out why? I mean, look, it's the Forsworn, so it's business that, as far as I'm concerned, concerns me. We have a favorable view towards the Forsworn, so you want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. All right, find evidence about Margaret, find evidence about Waylon. Um, uh, who, who was Waylon? Where did he live? I brutally murdered him. He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Oh, that's, that's wealth disparity. All right, uh, what do you... <laughs> Which he would be familiar with because he was previously rich and then he was poor. So he would actually have a unique perspective on this and have a unique hatred for these uh, sort of rich uh, people who are screwing these people over. So, that, yeah, this works out really well. Uh, what do you know about Margaret? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Okay, and who are the Forsworn? We would already know that. You've looked into these murders? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. I mean, those are ancestor spirits. Those are real. Okay. Be careful who you talk to. Okay. Uh, we now have a mission, but given that our character, uh, our character, not us, uh, would not really have a frame of reference for... Uh, where we would go, even though we have quest mark uh, quest markers here, one being the Warrens. Um, there was that Daedra worshipping uh, house that, you know, we know that the Forsworn, from personal experience, we know that the Forsworn worshipped Daedra. Now, our character does not know that this house would be unconnected and that this is just the Molag Ball quest, so we are doing the Molag Ball quest. Excuse me, do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Uh, no, I haven't. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Do you need any help? I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Okay. All right, and we'll equip Frostbite just preemptively. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, no, this... Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I asked say no one enters or leaves. Hmm. Wait, did you hear that? Maybe it came this way. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, um... You do that. Potato, potato, bread, 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 bread. Uh, by the way, this is something he would do. Like, this... <laughs> This isn't one of the reasons I played this character, but this is something he would do. He would unironically be like, oh, yeah, no, we're, um, we're gonna go and, uh, you know, beat up, a uh, Daedra or whatever, you know? Like, don't, uh, don't worry about it, but, uh, <laughs> just gonna, just gonna get some food first, you know? <laughs> he would, he would raid the food, he would raid the pantry, he would do it. That's it. Something's inside the house. What do you mean, something's inside the house? Come out. You know you're here. Okay. 
There's another door. See if you can get it open. Are you okay? Are you are you on the drugs that Winterborn gave me? Uh, sir? See if you can get the door open. Okay. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. I mean Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Your reward is waiting for you. <sighs> further down. He would kill them. <laughs> he he would he would kill them. Like just unironically, just straight up murder him. Uh, vigilant enforcer helm. This this looks amazing. What would our what's our current um what's our current helmet? What's our current fur helm? 29, 24. Uh, yeah, no, th this would not provide the main, uh, uh, 29, what's this do? Yeah, warmth 18 isn't really worth, but we could sell it. We could sell it for a pretty penny. Um, vigilant, uh, 24, I believe, does match with what we would, uh, and gold necklace, we'll steal that. Um, but I do believe that the gauntlets, if we look at fur bracers, the gauntlets do match up, but they have a better, yes, they have a better armor rating. Good, good for me. Uh, so, what else would we want to uh, throw away uh, here? What we can throw away, we can actually are those boots and gauntlets. I think that will put us down. No, it will not put us down to our uh, readable, ready. Uh, wait, uh, value one. Wait, zero one. Okay, this might actually work. Uh, yes, because we already have long range spells. We do not need this. Okay, all right. Ah. It's literally like voices in his head telling him to kill people was part of his training. I, 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 I would say that he would assume that's part of like a threat response or that someone was trying to harm him. Uh, also, let's let's get a torch out. Let's get a little uh, little torch out here because that's a lantern. Why not? Uh, no, no, no. We don't need that. Well, actually, well, no, not right now. I yes, see. Yes, further into the bowels. You know what? I said we wouldn't add another mod, but you know what would be really great? Daedric voices. Daedric. So close. Your prize is waiting. Daedric voices would be so good. Okay, so yeah, no, there's a reason we don't directly worship Molag Ball, but we will worship him as a testing god. Ah, god, I, this is an attempt. This is this is me dying. All right, fine, whatever. Hello. Take mace. Oh no. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? Yes. What do you see from that little cage? Speak. It's a mace. It's rusted. Rusted. Dry. There was a time when this mace dripped with the blood of the feeble and the worthless. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate it, left it here to decay until you came. Uh, you want revenge on Boethia? Revenge? No, I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. All right, so for roleplay purposes, we I have to stay true to the character. We already gave someone a potion to help them cure disease of vampirism. We're not going to be a follower of Molag Ball even though that would be great to get at this point for the buffs. We are not here for buffs. We're here for a story. So, yes. Even though even though it's within his character to loot everything in sight, and also, I, you know, he has the bound conjuration. So, no. No, we are not a follower of him. And it's, I have to tell... The, I'm not just telling you this as the audience. I'm telling me this because I'm so tempted to do this. 
Uh, but you look, you, look, you see this, uh, live as a vampire and never uh, seek a cure. That's just, no, we already, we're already against that, and our teachings are against that, because Molag Ball creates the undead and creates pain for us to rise up against. Periite creates plague for us to rise up against, and Mo Malakath creates war and uh, the orcs and trolls and ogres for us to rise up against. So, apparently we also have a mutual respect for orcs, because that makes our starting make sense as well. So, our version of Malakath, because th there is, okay... Um, but there is a version of the, okay, uh, all right. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing, captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his right one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. Hmm. Okay. And okay, so and when we say use altar... Okay, so I can't use altar. All right. All right, fair enough. I rejected the prince, and until I complete his quest, I cannot fulfill... That, that, that's fine. That's okay. Oh, that's, that was, that was tough. That was tough to, to avoid worshipping Molag Ball for the buffs. Again, it's within the character to kill the guy immediately without warning. He would not wait for him to attack first. Um, it's within the character to do a lot of things that civilized people would consider dishonorable. But, uh, yeah, oh yes. And, ah, fuck. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Ah, uh, I have to get rid of more stuff. I really should be selling stuff at this point. I really should be. Uh, how much? How much value does any of this have? There we go. Let me get. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, all right. So stop, stop me. Stop taking things. Stop taking things. Stop hoarding. Stop looting. Unless, unless we can, you know, unless, unless we can find some like some some more cooked food. Do they? Do they have more cooked food? Can I enter this place again? Can I use this cooking pot? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm just... We're looking for a squatter home. Because we, we refuse... <laughs> we... We, we reject... <laughs> no, I shouldn't... I shouldn't say that. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. So that was interesting. Uh, Forsworn Conspiracy is still what we're doing then. We'll, st we'll still do the Forsworn Conspiracy when we come back. Uh, but for right now, I think we'll... We'll call it here. I'll do some trading at the market, and uh, and we will be back. Let's uh, a brief update. I um I, I found this. It's called Ring of the Storm King. An immortal ghost fights for you. It has forty points of health and stamina. So that's something we could either sell or use as a ancestral ghost follower. Um, I. I am making a deliberate decision. <sighs> Probably. Mm, nah, we would keep it around. I, me as a player. This, this is another role play update. Me as a player would sell this in a heartbeat. Because I don't believe this is useful in any way. My character, however, would actually have respect for ancient spirits and keep them around. That is the reality of it. 